Hi, beautiful people. This is Chase here at Victoria's Life Christian Center, Associate Pastor. Um, today I wanted to talk to you guys briefly about famine in the hearts of man. Um, a couple of days ago, when I was spending time with the Lord, the Lord gave me two words. The first word was fodder. And fodder is food that is given to cows, horses, and other animals such as corn, wheat, barley, um, and things like that. And he also gave me the word dung. And before he gave me this word, I had a vision in my mind and I kept on seeing um, poop. I kept on seeing poop and I was like, Lord, this can't be the Lord. I'm tripping. I'll keep on seeing poop. And then I heard, no, dung. And dung, what dung is, is it's feces from animals, from large animals such as horses, cattle, and other types of cows and bulls. And so he took me to Ezekiel chapter 4. And in this chapter, um, he's talking to Ezekiel about the disobedience of his people, Israel. And he told Ezekiel to lay siege against Jerusalem because of their disobedience and sin. So we're going to go to start with verse 9 and go all the way down to verse 17 in Ezekiel chapter 4. So it says here, also take for yourself wheat, barley, beans, lentils, millet, spelt, aka fodder. Put them in one vessel and make bread for make bread for yourself. During the number of days you will lie on your side, 390 days, you shall eat it. And your food which you eat shall be weight, 20 shekels a day from, from time to time you shall eat it. You shall also drink water by measure, one sixth of hand from time to time you shall drink. And you shall also eat as barley cakes and bake it using fuel of human waste in their sight. The Lord said, so shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among, among the Gentiles, where I will drive them. So I said, Ah, Lord, God, indeed I have never defiled myself from my youth till now. I have never eaten what died of itself or was torn by beasts, nor has abominable flesh ever come into my mouth. Then he said to me, See, I am giving you cow dung instead of human waste, and you shall prepare your bread over it. Moreover, he said to me, Son of man, surely I will cut off the supply of bread in Jerusalem. They shall eat bread by weight with anxiety and shall drink water by measure with dread. Then they may lack bread and water and be dismayed with one another and waste away because of their iniquity. And I said, Lord, after he gave me this scripture, I said, Lord, is there going to be a famine in the land? And he said, there already is. It's in the heart of man. And so I just wanted to say, people's hearts are in a famine or wasting away because of so many different types of hurts and pains that have gone in their life. They're wasting away in their hearts because they have not experienced true love. They have a false sense of love, which is the world's love, which comes with all types of stipulations. But the love of Christ has no stipulation. He loves us unconditionally. He loves us through the good, the bad, and the ugly, and even in our brokenness, in our broken times. And he said, what the people are in need of is a heart transplant. A heart transplant because of the many different hearts. They, the hearts have turned into stone, and he wants to turn our hearts into flesh. And the Lord Jesus Christ is the only one who can do this. The Bible says in John 3.16 that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but through him the world may be saved. Um, so, if, so some of you may be saying, well, how do I experience true love? How do I experience a love of a God that I, that I do not know? And it just takes this simple prayer saying, I know that I'm a sinner and I'm broken and my heart is famine because of the many hurts in my life. But I believe, Jesus, that you died for me on the cross 
and rose again on the third day. Come into my life, heal my heart, and make it new where all the broke places were. And the Lord, he will come into our, our hearts. If we said that, he will come into our hearts. He will change us. He will make us new. He will heal those stony places, those hurts, those pains, if you will just allow him to just step in and make you new. And maybe you're backslidden. He wants you to turn your heart back to him, run to, to, towards him, and live your life for him again because he loves you. So that's um, my sermon for Easter Sunday. I hope you guys are having a blessed day today. And amen.